The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. Here we're asked to plot the following points on the coordinate system. Here we're asked to plot the following points on the coordinate system. Negative 1, negative 6, 4, 0, 0, 2, and 5, negative 3. Remember that the first number in each of our points represents the x coordinate, or how far we move to the left or right from the origin. The second number in each of our points represents the y coordinate, or how far we move up or down from the origin. So for our first point, negative 1, negative 6, since the x-coordinate is negative 1, that tells us we move one unit to the left from the origin. And since the y-coordinate is negative 6, that tells us we move six units down from the origin. So we go one to the left and six down, and we can label that point A. For our second point, since the x-coordinate is 4, that tells us we move 4 units to the right from the origin. Since the y-coordinate is 0, we move 0 units up or down. So we go 4 to the right and 0 up or down, and we can label that point B. For the point 0, 2, since the x-coordinate is 0, we move 0 units to the left and right from the origin. And since the y-coordinate is 2, we move 2 units up. So we go 0 to the left and right and 2 units up. And we can label that point C. For the point 5, negative 3, since the x-coordinate is 5, that tells us we move five units to the right from the origin. Since the y-coordinate is negative three, that tells us we move three units down from the origin. So we go five to the right and three down, and label that point D.